time for business and uh, we begin on energy again and an energy expert peter john amehu of the african center for energy policy is asking the government to scrap fuel subsidies he blames current fuel shortage on the subsidies energy expert peter amehu believes what Ghanaians currently pay as fuel cost is not the realistic price crude oil it's not a regional commodity it is an international commodity. It is an international commodity in the sense that it must be sold at the prices that it's sold internationally. As consumers, we need to accept the fact that it is time we begin to pay realistic price for some of these commodities. To him, petroleum products sold in the country are cheap and that has contributed to the springing up of fuel stations along border towns. You travel along most of the districts and villages you know in this country that are close to the border town and you see a lot of filling stations you know along those villages you ask yourself how many cars you know are applying this route before you have this filling station all they do is smuggling The Food and Drugs Authority, FDA, has revised its guidelines for registration of drugs to conform to current international standards. Thus, the FDA believes what make the registration of drugs more transparent and bridge the gap of misunderstanding that exists between manufacturers and regulators. Principal among these guidelines is the use of a common technical document for drug registration, which is said to ensure faster access of the public to quality and safe drugs. This is a guide that is used in Europe, in the US, and then in uh, Japan. And now regional bodies are adopting the same guideline. It makes registration of medicines more transparent. The misunderstanding that used to be between manufacturers and regulators, it bridges it because it's very detailed. Other supplementary guidelines include the labeling. According to the FDA, it should be indelible and legible. The drug's shelf life cautions, batch number, dosage and expiry dates boldly displayed. The stability guidelines has also been revised to suit the local requirements, such as the changes in temperature. For stability, our, our storage conditions have changed. Previously, we were accepting products which were saying do not store above 25 degrees. But now we realize that we are temperatures here are somewhere between 30 and then 32. So we've advised companies to change their labeling to say do not store below 30 rather than do not store below 25. Currently, the old guidelines are being used alongside a new one, while the FDA continues to train pharmaceutical companies about the revision. By next year, pharmaceutical companies will be obliged to adhere to the new guidelines. The British High Commissioner to Ghana, John Benjamin, is asking Ghanaian small and medium scale enterprises to take advantage of business opportunities in the United Kingdom. He was speaking at a reception for members of a delegation of the London Chamber of Commerce. The London Chamber of Commerce is a private entity made up of varied businesses in the United Kingdom. Its interest is to pursue business beyond the borders of the United Kingdom. The Chamber's focus is also to open links and markets across the globe with the current focus on Africa. A 15-member delegation of London Chamber of Commerce was hosted by the British High Commissioner to Ghana after a similar visit to Nigeria. These businesses include oil and gas, telecommunication, technology, education and many more. The British High Commissioner to Ghana, John Benjamin, said there is hope despite Ghana's current economic hardships. The job of my opposite number, the Ghanaian High Commissioner in London, to promote Ghanaian companies looking for opportunities in the UK. The most important thing we can offer Ghana economically uh, was really twofold. Firstly, our economic uh, development program as, a, as Ghana's major development partner, both bilaterally and through the European Union. And very importantly, as part of the European Union, we've offered Ghana a new economic partnership agreement, a new trade deal, which basically means tariff-free and quota-free entry for all Ghanaian products. He asks Ghanaian businesses to grab opportunities in the United Kingdom. 
The Vice President of the London Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Shabash Taka, promised to sell business opportunities in the sub-region. We want African businesses to also come out to UK and do more business or at least be, make people aware of opportunities that are available here. That's not happening enough. And that's it for business.